What's going on, people? Welcome to another episode of The Takeover with myself, Flex, Mr. Anton Ferdinand. And Abby Summers is back this week. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> but actually, you've, come at, so you, you've come at a good time because you've got a lot to answer for for obviously Spurs' performance. Like yourself. Uh, hands up on the and table you. if you've got a point on the weekend. If you've got no some points point. on the board. It's so shameless. No you've so got zero. Shameless. You got zero. zero. Oh, you took Jack to the table. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They took. They also took Lick this weekend. It was, yeah, we'll it was, it was, it was yeah. a tough one. So and last week, oh, I asked you yeah. for time. I oh, know. Abby's been saying quite a few times. Hands up if you played in Europe within the last ten days. Hands up. Did you win? Did you play? Did you win? Are you on your way out of Europe? Huh? Are you on your way we'll out? See. Appa we'll apparently, see. it's just the taking part that counts. See, it's all started already, guys. It's all started already. Audi, but Audi Cup over there. <laughs> guys, just stop. You see what I'm saying? Can't straight away. Sorry, straight sorry. away. Can't help them. They just, they just got to go for each other. That's what happens. Narrative FC bottled the league. I'm just reading this. I'm reading what's on <laughs> the screen. Really is. Who's Narrative FC? <laughs> Who? Arsenal, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, will they beat Bayern? <laughs> Obviously, the tie is, 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 is finally poised at 2 mm. 2. Joel Bayer. He's out there and he's had his say. We've all seen it. Yes, everybody, it's Joel Bear, and I'm here outside the Allianz Stadium in Munich, Germany for Bayern Munich versus Arsenal. And I'll tell you what, the confidence is real. Despite the mishap, the mishap that we had on the weekend against Villa, um, I've been speaking to the guys and, and they're ready, man. They're ready to come here and get a result. Uh, we saw some some interesting results in Europe last night, so anything can happen. I know a lot of people think that, you know, uh, it's out of Arsenal's hands, but definitely not, man. It's too all on aggregate. Um, you know, look, it's European football. Some some people know about Champions League football. Some people don't. Some people are locked out already. But, um, I, you know, it's, it's you have to come in. You have to give it your all. Uh, the players aren't tired anymore. We all know that players, they get really tired at this point in the season. Uh, there's not going to be any limping. You know, we're, we're going to come here and we're going to do the job properly you know if you want to play champions league football and you and, and you want to win it you know these are the games you got to be in you can't be can't be getting slapped four nil on the weekend but anyway that's another story but um yeah i just want to say man that i will be outside the stadium uh creating content so you guys make sure you stay tuned on on five it's going to be excellent um you know it's, it's going to be good content because i know we're going to go through and obviously if we go through i'm putting it all on the line and saying that arsenal are winning the champions league you heard it first. Joel Bayer signing out. Peace. He said the dub, the dub that they're going to get tonight is going to be so sweet. All the doubt is they've had a mishap, he said, With a capital against P. A capital P um, against Villa. Will they beat Bayern and go through to the semi-finals of the Champions League? Uh, do you know what? Prior to last week, I genuinely felt like they would win that game easy. Were you at that game? Was I was at that game. I went for work, yeah. you know, operation, undercover, all that. And um, I really felt like before even a ball was kicked, I felt like they would just breeze past Bayern. I really did. Purely for the fact that, like, defensively, Bayern have just not been at it. Mm -hmm. And obviously, because of work, I spoke to quite a few Bayern fans, and they are literally telling me that Eric Dyer is their best centre-back, which is a bit jarring wow. for me. So you look at that. You say about the Sancho thing. It's wild. Like, look. look. They've got Van der Ven spinning around. Mental. Van Dijk's and Kim Van and Jay on the bench. Wow. Upa Meccano, not at wow. it, they tell me. Wow. And Eric Dyer's the man. Oh. Eric, Eric Dyer. Do you know what, though? Crazy behaviour. The lit was a joke on that in that game, by the way. Yeah. Like, they say he's their powerful. best centre-back, but playing, with like the partnership that. of, of, of um, Eric Dyer, mad. which is just wild Crazy, to me. Yeah. Wild to me. Um, and in the first, like, 20, 25 minutes, I really thought, like, oh, they're going to get battered here by and Like, Arsenal come out so strong. Um, and then as soon as they conceded... I feel like Arsenal was shocked because they have mm -hmm. they've like conceded like four goals or something. Yeah. Obviously in the Premier League up until that point, um, and a couple here and there, I guess Champions League. But it was like their heads dropped and like just something changed. And then obviously they hit them again quite quick. And like the stadium, like the atmosphere was like decent, I guess for Arsenal's level. But <laughs> I, um, <laughs> yeah, like you know, Highbury Library, you know, oh. we, we know the history. Um, <laughs> obviously they they leave games early as well. And I actually did see quite a few walking out early in that game. Wow, that game as well. Um, but yeah, I thought they were there for the taking Bayern, and just just shows you just can't sleep on them. And now they got to go to they they got to go to Bayern. Yeah. Allianz, I'm just, I'm just not sure. Obviously, coming off the back of the Villa game as not well, fair. like I'm, I'm seeing, I'm seeing a few limps and cracks. Do you think they're gonna oh, um, well, play a low? Right, a few limps and cracks. Yeah, she's going for them. She's going for them, mate. Going... Just, just being honest. Do you think they're gonna be cautious like they were at Etihad, where they just sit back, um, like you know, counter, and talk, counter, or do you I think they just go play their game? I think Mikarteta, he plays his game. 
I think that's just the way, the nature of the way he is as a manager. Um, I think what we saw last week was a team who was well-versed in the Champions League and a team that was that had less experience. And that was telling last week. Um, I think for how good Saliba and Gabriel have been, Kane gave them a different proposition. One that they're not probably used to in the Premier League. You know, in the Premier League, a lot of the, the strikers nowadays play up against mm -hmm. you. Kane makes you think because he drops deep. Mm -hmm. How many times did we see Kane drop into areas? And it's almost like they, they and Gabriel's been fantastic this year. He's probably been the best centre-back. Definitely in the most league, improved as well. I'd say best centre-back in the league this year for me personally. <clears throat> You might have something to say about Van No, I, I, I actually agree with you on, on Gabriel. I think he's been most improved for me as well. But I'm, what I'm saying is he's looked fantastic because he's, he's aggressive front foot on top of people. When Harry Kane or someone drops into areas, you have to think because what he was doing was coming in and wanting contact because he wanted to fill you. But then Leroy Sane was dusting into them spaces that mm. he was he was vacating, which where that's where a lot of joy came from. Bayern, and that they worked on that. Yeah, you know, Allianz Arena. Let me tell you, I've played there. The pitch is big, the pitch is massive. Yeah, that can't happen today. That can't happen. If that happens today, it's night nurse finished. finished, gone, done. I, 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 but this, I, think this is finally, but I think they've got something in them where they can actually do it. Yeah, Arsenal, you can't, listen, you can't write Arsenal them off. off, but buying a favourites for me. Yeah, you know? which I feel like has swung. Like, yeah, I has really swung. didn't feel that because, way. Because, because, you know, Arsenal way. had a good chance to, I don't know, not not, not be naive and kind of, they were in their ascendancy, 1-0 up quite had no, early. They had no fans there, Bayern. Yeah, no fans. And now... Bar me. It's <laughs> now it's a, it's a different it's a different proposition, man. Yeah, it is. How how important will Harry Kane be? He's gonna have a, he's gonna have something to say. Hundred percent, he will. Mad. He's a bags man. He's a joke. Yeah. Let's have it right. He's okay. A joke. Right. To keep it moving. Prediction. Arsenal gonna do it. Oh no, not for me tonight. And I, and I would is never. Gonna be a loser. A, a week I wouldn't have said that. Yeah. But I feel like I feel like Bayern will get it done at home tonight. I think they I think they crash out. On a mm. great week for me. Um, yeah, tears. Tears for Joel. Tears for Joel. Yeah, tears. Doing? I think this could go pennies, you know. I'm going to go pennies. I think they're oh, going to draw. Don't, I don't think I, just, so. I think it's going to be a score draw and it's going to go pennies and it's a lottery. And then what? you got to call a winner. Don't sit on the fence. Who? Don't sit on the fence. Oh. Look down camera four. <laughs> yeah, look down camera four. And give four. us a prediction. Uh, my prediction is going to be <laughs> a buy and home win. Thank Arsenal you. going up. Yeah, I feel that Arsenal. I don't know that that we'll get onto we'll get onto the Villa thing in a minute. Don't flip flop. Never flip flop. Yeah. Never flip flop. Flip flop. Flex. I mean, <laughs> I'd, I'd hate for you guys to be on like a jury. You know what I mean? You you guys basically go on a jury mm. and make your mind up, and then when new evidence evidence is presented to yourself, you just wouldn't would move. Awful jury. So, just don't flip flop. You know. That's all we're asking you know I mean? from you. That's, 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 that's what Triple F does. The next oh, you had to bring Oliver Skip up. <laughs> you, think he's the next one up it. you may as well stay with the opinion. You can't flip flop. It's you can't true. change. It's you can't true. now say he's rubbish. I, I stand by it at you the time. You said Kasuma was wicked as well. Now you want him sold. You changed your mind. Bruh. See, flip, look at this. Flop. Look at that. Flip. What's going on there? Silence. Don't be bringing other things from other shows onto this channel. Don't bring other things into this. I just want to clear this up. So are we allowed to change our mind on things that we see in football based on new evidence or should we stick with the same thing? You can stick by what you said initially, but you can, you can, you can with new evidence, form a new argument. So when I do it, why but am you I can't, flip flop you can't not then? Flip flop. So I will stand by the fact at the time, Oliver Skip right. was heading in the right direction. Right. Is it a bad take looking back on it now? Yeah, yeah but at right. the time it wasn't that so wild. So you flip flopped your opinion then? It wasn't that wild. Can, no, I, I, just what, by can it. I just say, can I just clarify one I'm thing? I'm standing by it. Can I just clarify yeah. one thing? I didn't even know you said that. <laughs> That's how mad it is. I didn't even know you said that. I didn't. No, Flex found a video. No, but I didn't even know that you said that. I swear, when yeah. I made that assumption, when I said that statement, I didn't even know that you had said that. Flex. Yeah, she said in the Basuma one as well. No, the, yeah. There's a newer one. Right, we're going to talk, we'll talk about Basuma. <laughs> we'll talk about Basuma. He's amazing. Look how good he is. He wants him sold. Bruh. So the, are you this is why are you flip flopping? We're, we're actually detracting away from what oh, we're talking about. This is, this is you, why you know it's called the funny? take on. Do you know what's funny? Abby actually bought the flip flop. She, no one was talking about it. You see, this is what she does. She throws it in, and then when you when you when you give it like back, you. she's like, no, no, don't, no, yeah. don't do that. Can you look down camera four and give a prediction, please? Yes, I can. Thank you. Arsenal going out. 
Arsenal going out. I just, okay. I just think, yeah, I think they're going to. Are they getting battered? No, they won't get no, battered. Okay. They won't get battered. But I just, I think it'd be tight. But I think like a two-one buy and win. Mm. I'm going to go with. Um, Arsenal lose two 0 at home to Villa. Ollie Watkins then DMs Joel to rub oh, the song. Brilliant. I'm so glad he done that. It's Hold so that, good. Joel. Um, let's just predict Arsenal's um, next backs of fixtures for the rest of the season. Wolves away next game. I think a lot's going to depend on what happens tonight for me with the Wolves oh, game. It's just a complete... Yeah, like I feel like if they go out tonight, heads are going to be down. Yeah. Bad week. Yeah. Wolves, mm, out away, tough place to go, Molyneux. I feel like they should win that game. But like they if they it. get knocked out, I don't know. Part of, I'm going to go draw. I'm going to go draw. Oh, I, 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 think they, I think they win most of their games. I think the one is used. I think your game... Yeah, I need them. I need them not your, uh, not to turn game, up how they did last week. I think your game. I think you got a flex moment in you. With, we just have to win this game. There's no no ifs and buts or maybe we have got to. Win yeah, this we do. Game. We have to. Got to we done. have to yeah, win this game. You if, you, yeah. if you win, put what, the nail in the coffin. Mm -hmm. but we what, have to win that game. I'm yeah. going to tell you what your message should be. Go on, actually. tell me. Tell me. You're not going to make Champions League. Cool. Right? Potentially not. Cool. Right. Spurs. Spurs. Nah, they're still wet. Like it's not wait no. for the nibble, man. Uh, you oh, were, you, were, you okay. weren't going to get nibble out of that. Say for if you didn't make Champions League, not but you beat that. Arsenal. Cool. It's a fun. You're Unbelievable. Heroes. That's players. League. Listen, league. players. That's you fine. Make sure you do that. That's okay. fine with me. All right. No problem. Um, a couple of other fixtures. Uh, obviously, it's an amazing game. Dortmund against Atletico. Ooh. Um, crazy. Sancho is in the is in the semi finals. The bits is in the semi finals. Should Dortmund we, are in the semi finals. Should we talk about that quickly? We, we ain't really. It's not really on the running order. But if you want, to I feel like maybe agenda, Anton you can. Yeah. Sancho. What's your what's your thoughts? Harry on Kane's that? also you know still in the Champions League. Should he come back to Spurs? You know, I, I, I hope and pray every day. Just, I hope and pray every day. If if he goes and if they go to the final Dortmund mm. and win it. Mm. Are you going to look down camera for and apologise? No, for what? Like, it would be great for why? Why would I do that? Why would I do that? It's best for both parties that he left and I actually want him to do well. And the better he does, the higher his price value is so we can sell him. No, How about that? No, it's, it's, How about that? It's just brilliant. I said it's if brilliant. he goes there That's and he's dead, yeah. he's going to come back to Man United with no value. It's just brilliant. If he goes to he's Dortmund and shines United. and gets to the Champions League and gets ma I want him to get man of the match in the Champions League. Final. Man of the match. Man of the match. Man of the match. Um, Real Madrid City. Oh. Quickly, give me a small line. Because you've got me one. Oh, I don't know. City win. Yeah, City are winning that. City, at home. City How mental is that that we just sit there and just go like City yeah, win? Actually, no. Do you know what? Yeah, we've got... I'm going to... Like, we're just not... We're not giving respect name. at all to I'm going to go Real Madrid to nick it. Like, this is their competition. It is their competition. Real However... Madrid. They're both great. They're, it's, that it's that one... Fixture. I'm actually looking forward to it. I'm, I'm watching that one. Like, no, no. I'm I'm locked in on that on one. And I'll flick, yeah. I might not take my son training tonight just for that. <laughs> watch football. Gotta watch football. Man I watch think, football. yeah, I think that's the right thing. Yeah, yeah, big games. Um, This is an interesting one. Cole Palmer's obviously, you know, scored four in a week. It was insane. Mm. Um, He's got 20 goals this year. Mental. You know, yes, he's got a few penalties, but he's got a lot of goals. Um, Is he better than Foden and Saka? Uh, I don't think he's better than Foden. I think if he was better than Foden, he would have been starting for City and they wouldn't have sold him. I think it's maybe an oversight that they mm. did sell him. But City aren't afraid to do that kind of stuff. They're not afraid. Saka? I think you said Foden, but what about Saka? <sighs> Is Cole Palmer better than Bukayo Saka? Uh, no, I don't think he's better. I think he has the ability to potentially be better. I think he's got the potential to be a world-class player as well, Cole Palmer. I think we're looking at him like, oh my God, he is so good. And he is because he's literally carried Chelsea on his back. Mm -hmm. I mean, he makes up over half of their goals this season, penalties or not. Um, and he's been the only good thing about Chelsea. Um, so for me, he's definitely got the ceiling to, but I'm not putting him ahead of both he's those got players. 20, he's got 20 goals and nine assists this year. I'm real for his Phil like, Foden's got 14 goals and seven assists. But this is also like his first, this is like his, first this season. is like his first senior season, but also he's the main man at Chelsea. Like yeah. Foden is, I think, coming into that role at City, but, yeah. and I guess like Saka is, I guess, the main, main man at He's the main man in that position. So like you could argue probably that in yeah. terms of Saka and, Saka and Palmer this season, who's had the better season. But I, I still think he's Palmer not has Saka. He's not better. He's had a better season. Yeah. yeah, he's not better than Saka. I'll say that. A lot of Arsenal fans probably be surprised that I've said that. <laughs> to be fair, um, but no, he's not. He's not better than. If he keeps performing how he does so, over the next how many yeah, seasons, he's, he's, he's going to be It's impossible. There. It's a joke. It's impossible to say someone's better when they've done one season. Yeah, For sure. exactly. 100%. Saka's been doing it 
for a few for for a few seasons now. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't think we can. You I think the only it. analysis we can make is that yes, Cole Palmer individually yeah. has had a better season than Saka so far. But, over... say that. but for England though, because Cole Palmer looked like the one who was almost certainly not going to go because he ain't going to play ahead of Saka. He's he got to go now. He ain't going to be ha play ahead of Foden. But now when he you needs look to at go. it, I've got something to say about. Has this. to go. I've got, sure. I've got something to say about this. Southgate's got a problem. <laughs> He's got a big problem. It's a good problem on the right hand big... side. Or yeah. All attacking. Mm. Like, mm. Only one who's certain is Kane. Yeah. Let's have it right. He's the only one who's really certain is Kane. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a way to fit them the, all three of them in? Nah. Put, put Foden on the left. You put, put Palmer it's, on the. It's, it's a it's 10. a hard one. It's a, it's a hard one. Ten. Palmer don't. Sack on pa the right. Palmer don't, you can't go in a ten. Plays there for Chelsea. You can't go in there before Foden. Foden's Foden Foden's taking Palmer. City to the league from the ten. Oh, so is it Palmer that gets benched? But but what I'm saying is um, what I want to say about it is. This is a similar scenario scenario to the golden generation. Yeah, you look at the golden right. generation. We had so much quality, couldn't fit them in a team to do the right thing. Put them in a team together, but almost became a hindrance. Mm. Like, this is the same situation we got here. Do you mm. know what I mean? Like, mm. like, so it might not be this Euros, but you see World Cup come America, 26. Yeah. These guys need to be ready. Yeah. So it's this year fitting them in and trying to maybe sacrifice, try and win the Euros, obviously, but try and see how you can get them all playing together. Because it almost, it does feel like the, jo the golden generation, three of the best midfielders in world football. We've got like three of the best under 23 players mm. in world football, by the way. For sure. Well. And they're going to be there for a long time. Exactly. The one thing I say, if you're looking at 26, I mean, Kane will be, how old is Kane now? 32? 31, 32? Yeah. So you're thinking that he'll be 30, let's call it 34. Like, but we, yeah. Are we saying that Kane's going to feature less at that point? For potentially, America? potentially. But what, what, what also, and I'm looking at it tactically, we mentioned all these players, none of these players run, run in behind. None of no. them. Like, there's no variety. Saka can. But he doesn't. But there's no variety. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. There's no variety. It's so, how do you fit them all in? Because you need some variety. Also, we've got, I know obviously Kane starts, like that's not even an argument, but like you look at Watkins and you look at Tony, like we've got so many good attacking mm. options. Yeah. And like midfield, yeah. unreal. Maynou, Bellingham, Rice. Like, yeah. how do you possibly fit everybody I'm into that? That's what I'm saying. The how problem, do, how the do you problem do is nuts. Yeah. We've got generational talents mm. that we need to try and fit into, into this system. Mm. How do you do that? But he goes, is, he goes regardless. Yeah. Is it going to be a general, is it going to be the golden generational situation again? Where they, where they just don't, where they well, don't also, get it right. Southgate won't probably be in charge for Arthur. USA. Yeah. Like, we're, we're all probably thinking it's his last tournament. So, whoever comes if he in. Wins it. Yes, he wins it. I still, I think he'll go out on a high. You don't think he'll leave, even if he wins it? I don't know. Man United, maybe. No chance. Maybe, <laughs> maybe West Ham after Moyes. It's about his level. Very, very West Ham. Who said, who, who said hey. Moyes is um, leaving? You didn't want to stay, you lot, man. You lot hounded him out of the Who's club, even though he's a legend. Nothing to do. I mean? Well, <laughs> say that. What I will say, though, is if Cole Palmer outscores Erlen Haaland for the Golden Boot, because he's currently tied with him, let's not get that twisted. Mm. Player of the season. You, is that your statement? Player of the camera season. four statement. Camera four. Player of the season. Look down it. Don't need to. Where, Just look down it. All the cameras, mate. Player of the season. If Cole, if Cole Palmer outscores Erling Haaland and finishes top of the Premier League goal scoring chart, he should get player of the season. I don't care that City are going to probably win the league or another treble. To do that in that Chelsea team and put them on his back in his first senior season as a starter. And to score that many goals and the, and the type of performances he's been putting in with the assists as well, by it the way. It won't happen, though. It won't happen. How do you know? It, it can't because the, the votes are already being taken around this time. Well, I, in my opinion, he should. He, that's enough for me to be like, pff, he should get it over. I'm Harlan. going, he's, de he's definitely Harlan's got young not been player. good this year. He's definitely got young yeah, player. Yeah, for sure. And I think, I think, yeah. and I think yeah. Phil Foden will win player of the season. Player. Yeah. Play, win player of the season. I think, I that's, think. I think that's probably I accurate. I think they're the two. And I think maybe like Rice is an outside shout. Yeah, yeah. Joloff Rice will be involved. <laughs> He's been good. Um, Tottenham getting the ESAP work. Whoa. Long <laughs> Vanderbilt, we've got to go day. through the topics. We've got to keep, we've got to keep the pace wow. up. You know, we've but got to go there. It was a long day. Uh, it was a minutes. very, very long day for me. From the Defenders Union, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of shout, a lot of quotes. 
Oh, Mickey, Mickey, Mickey can't defend, I've heard. Mickey yeah. can't defend. Yeah, yeah, Mickey got spun. Mickey got spun. Mickey all spun defend. Yeah, cute. Yeah, Mickey spun defend. Come up mm. without yourself. Listen. Yeah. Cute. No, expression says it. Okay. It's funny. <laughs> you're, you're one of your own fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It? It's cool. What I will I say is, it. what I will say is, this guy's a joke, man. He's he is he's he is a good, good, good defender. He is. I think he's been one of the best in the league. Hundred percent. But can we talk? But can we talk more about Spurs in terms of like? Yeah, they yeah, can yeah. Potentially finish sixth. Yeah, they can potentially finish sixth. Is that right? Um, yeah, it's okay. Why? Like. I said at the start of the season, mm. my initial prediction for Tottenham this year would be somewhere around sixth or seventh. I really didn't have much thought about what Ange would do coming in. Like, I thought, let's see how it goes. Like, European football, okay, cool. I don't necessarily think at all we were going to go for Champions League. So if we finish in the Champions League, great. Like, we've probably overachieved with that. Like, first season in the Prem for Ange, for a lot of these players mm -hmm. and, like, forming a team. You can see we're still, a, we're still a massively long way to go from where we need to be. But we have made progress at points. Um, but again, I think the first half of the season and the second half are completely two different sides of Tottenham. And we've got a lot of work to be done. I think if we finish fifth... That's not a problem for me. I'm mm -hmm. actually fine with that because I don't think we're at a level to even be competing in the Champions League remotely. Like, I can't see us being able to go to anyone and, and do a good job. Maybe like on our day, but I don't think we're do consistent think, enough to be able to do it at the minute. you compete in the Europa League? Yeah, I think that the Europa League conference is... conference league level yet? I think the Europa yes. League is um, a more the, the key, a more the, the key word, yet. a more competitive option Can be conference for league Tottenham. Like <laughs> Can they, have they got that minerals... I don't, know, I don't know if they've got the minerals, but... They'll get to the final. What are you going to say? And bottle it. I didn't say it. You and said it. Rio said before the match... I knew where match, you were going. I knew before, where you were going. Rio said before the match that um, he's a Rolls-Royce of a centre-back. He is. Then at half-time, he said, well, sometimes Rolls-Royces do have technical issues. <laughs> <laughs> and they need to go for an MOT and a once-over. Classic car, isn't it? Sometimes. It, it is. It is. But listen... <laughs> just, just That's say, what he said. No, just, but you've got to look at things in context. On, just based on one performance, you can't say he's terrible. And also, no, he's not. Look, and also, like, the rest of the team weren't doing their job. Like, I've, been super, I've been super critical of Basuma yeah. and he's really let me down because I was absolutely singing his praises at the start of the season. Those first six, seven games up until he got sent off against Luton, he was unbelievable. Mm. We thought, great, finally, we've got the player that we bought from Brighton. You know, what was Conte doing? Get sent off. And honestly, the last seven months, he's not. he's been who he was last year. And I don't understand that because we know That's we've mentality. seen what he can do yeah but we're talking about seven months I'm not saying he's having a blip he's been sent off twice this season he's let he's let Tottenham down a lot it sounds a bit like Doneo party <laughs> <laughs> he does but for, for me I am looking for a six for Tottenham this summer so, I just that, I can't that, that, that I can't I, 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 I can't it. put I, my faith and, in it and by the way can I just say just, just for clarity have you had the cheek to say we need someone like Rice they can't get a rice type I'm player. I'm not saying looking at a rice. They well, can't you, get you a can't rice. keep a rice type player. <laughs> we can produce them. You can't them. keep one. We can produce You can't them. even keep Packetite. He's going. They're all going. Well, feed, she's saying feed a club. You she's are. saying feed a club. Nothing, How long is Kudus going to be there, mate? Listen, she's saying feed a club. Kudus, Kudus be all off. All I understand is, whilst doing it, off ski. what do we do? We won. You won one trophy. Great. Good for you. We've done it. Cool. Yeah? How many trophies are they going to get? Audi Cup, bro, isn't it? Oh, oh, do you know what? You know this what is I mean? dead chat. This is <laughs> dead. Cup, this is a dead chat. Okay, we are, a dead we conversation. <laughs> and we need a better six. Time up. Time we up. need Time a better up. six. That's a conversation. We are going to keep it moving. There's loads of topics to fly moving. through. Um, we are pivoting to West Ham, actually. Let's cool. talk West Ham. Let's talk about West Ham. Joel has put in the run. <laughs> Let's talk He's about West Ham. Order. West Ham getting that Leverkusen work and Andreas Pereira work mm. in the space of four days. And if you haven't seen it, by the way, there is a fantastic interview on five with Andreas Pereira. Um, mm -hmm. Spoke about loads. Um, spoke about his time at Man United, obviously where he's at now. Um, a lot player. of stuff in his career. Yeah, he Good is. player. Do you know what? I actually spoke to him, him and William before the game in a tunnel and I was saying to William, listen bro, come on man. Relax to the innit? Allow it. <laughs> Allow it. And they went, nope. Uh, nope. No, <laughs> I, I should have said it to Pereira because he turned up. He turned up. Um, any chance of you turning this round against Leverkusen? Can you stop their unbeaten run? Um, you never say never. It's going to be tough. This is, this is a team that has... Ain't mm. lost a game all year, you know, and all season. And we're 2 0 down. Mm. However, we've beat big teams on European nights, you know, on the way to winning stuff um, at the London Stadium, you know. And, and listen, what I would like to see from the team. Yeah, what must happen for you to go through if you can do it? I think just based on watching the game last week, 
Antonio, I don't want to see him as defensive in terms of like in a shape. I want to see him a bit higher playing on the last man, staying on the last man. Mm. Because when Kudos had that chance early, that was a foot race with Antonio and the defender, which created that chance. It's harder for him to do that when he's a little bit deeper defensive. Like I'm not talking saying that he's deep like he's Harry Kane. I'm talking about in a defensive shape. Mm. Like close them down one side, but stay high and allow our midfielders to deal with what comes through and our defence to deal with what through. And then on the transition, I think we need to go a bit more longer, a bit more direct. Not two, three passes, then go. No, no. I think if we're a bit more direct with Antonio on the shoulder, Bowen playing a, a bit higher, higher if he plays, mm. and Kudos higher, I think we cause them problems. I really do. But the problem is, Getting the ball. Yeah. Because they're a joke. <laughs> no, it is. But when, that, it but when is. you get the ball. Get the ball but when, <laughs> when, you, get when we get the ball, that's what yeah, I'm about that's to what you got to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we showed glimpses of it last week, but they were just relentless. They were a joke. Yeah. They were, they were. And look, they've won the Bundesliga. Is there it's any way now. they could, you know, too much champagne, you no. know, you might take the right off Potentially, the you, never, you just never know. You don't, mm. this is, listen, having played against Alonso, and how professional he looked, and, and, and when speaking to people that played with him, how professional he was, You'd say, no, it's not going to happen. However, this is his first trophy as a, as a coach, as a manager, at being at the helm. That's a big one as well. It's a massive one mm. as well. First team to win it in 13 years. Mm. Like, and, and their first and ever. It, ever. And, and it not be Bayern. Yeah. And you slap them. Mm. Like, come on. And you've won it with games to go, with change. Right. And they're unbeaten. And they're unbeaten. They're about to do by it. By the way. Uh, uh, so, invincible. so, he could lay his hair down based on that. Don't think he will. Yeah. But he could do. Mm. But anything can happen at London. Prediction. <sighs> penalties, I'm going. 2 yeah. nil. West Ham. Fence penalties. Um, no, no, oh, no, 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 he said. He said, I'm saying he penalties, said they're going through. Penalties, just West Ham going through. Dusting them off. Like, just, yeah. Bayern. Bayern. Mm. Bayern. Yeah. Leverkusen all yeah. day long. Yeah. Easy. Yeah, easy night. That, that, that's Gen genuinely like I actually okay. felt like last week you put in a good defensive display like yeah. you were pretty we solid for a long period much. of time just, but just too yeah. much yeah. like and the thing is is that are you like you're going to have to go for it tonight but that leaves you so open no, it does so and, and, so and, and open. I forgot to say as well flipping, no Paqueta tonight he's suspended <laughs> Yeah. So it's going to be tough. It is going to be tough. It is. Yeah. It's, it's, no, it tomorrow might, night, sorry. It, it is might be, be a tough. long night. Okay. It, it, it could be. It could it might be. be However, we're, we're in it. <laughs> for one month, for maybe one more night. You've got to be in to win it. For, just for one, one more day, night, yeah. You've got to be in to win it. Do you know what I mean? Just for one more night. All right, get your predictions. Um, get your predictions in, in the comments, man. Do you think West Ham can overturn that against this mammoth Bayer Leverkusen side? I don't think they can. Um, I see an easy night. Uh, yeah. Bayern. Yeah. Like work. Right, we've got to talk Man United though. We have to yeah. talk Man United um, against Bournemouth. Although we were one of the only teams to get, register some points, it was pathetic. We robbed Bournemouth as well. Criminals again, Man United. Criminal. It's just, I just, each week, uh, I just think there's, we keep inventing new ways to just be disappointed with the team, to just see the level of performance, the the lack of application, the lack of mentality. It's just absolutely shocking. Um, Do you know what I hope though, Flex? I on. hope that Ten Hag stays with Willy Kambala. I, I know he had a hard time. Yeah. But you, like- Well, with injuries, he might have to. Like, but I hope he does. I think his, the way he played against Liverpool, his performance against Liverpool warrants even though he didn't have a, his best game against uh, Solanke, he deserves time in that team. He's not, the, the, think, he's definitely not. No, but he's, I just, United, yeah, he's no, not, oh no, but no. He's got a lot, he's, 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 listen, he's young, he's learning on the job. Mm. Yeah. I just hope, because there is a player in there, there is a defender in there, there is. I just hope that he doesn't just take him out because that could, it could ruin him. Uh, I feel I just I feel like he's he's played because of circumstances. I don't necessarily feel like hundred percent. You don't think yeah. he's ready? No, nah, he's just he's not quite ready yet. He's listen. I think the game against Liverpool, which I said is, and you'll probably you will know this obviously more than us. Like if a young player playing against your rival with the home crowd, adrenaline. It can be a difficult game because you yeah. can, you know, and he handled it really well. But it was a it was always difficult to play the second one in terms of away from home against. You know, one of the top five strikers in the league, mm. Solanke's been this year, let's be honest. Mm -hmm. um, 
and the adrenaline's not going to get you through. Yeah. And he just he just struggled. This was fine, which is fine. It's, it's, but, but I just think he, you know, if the, if the senior defenders are fit, like they need to come back in. But for for me. for his progression, mm. and we're looking long term. I just think he needs to stay in the squad still. Keep go to preseason I, I, tour. I just, I, I, you know, I, like just work his way back I, I, in. I need like, to ask. You, I need guy. I need you to answer a question. Go on then. Truthfully and honestly, and don't mix zone it. Yeah, I'm not. I'll mix zone flex. So. <laughs> are you? Yeah. Eric Ten Hag in or out? Don't know. What? Flex, you can't keep doing this. No. There's still more. No, no. There's Look still down more. Down that camera. I, my okay. camera's here. Ca what is my, it? No, my camera's here with the tape. My, okay. This is my camera. That's camera, camera one four. then. Okay, camera, camera one. There. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want to do camera four? <laughs> camera one. This camera is, one. This Go is on. where I'm at. <sighs> this, co I'll be honest. This Coventry, I, I've said many times I am on the fence with this because I, I do see both sides of the amount of injuries they've had to um, have the amount of stuff he's had to deal with off the pitch. And overall, we're saying that he's had one good season and one bad season. And we need to stick at something and get rid of a whole bunch of players who are clearly not good enough to play Do you for this identity, team. Though? However, so what I'm saying about the other side. I'm seeing a lot of other managers get more out of their squads. I'm seeing a style out of like people like Unai Emery, people like Ange Postacoglu. I've seen it. And, and actually Unai Emery's probably, and, and uh, um, no. Um, <laughs> no, David Moyes. no, no. Um, people like um, Unai Emery is probably a good measuring stick in terms of he took over that team with a lot of the same players and they were like near the relegation zone like mm -hmm. with, uh, with Gerard and look what he's done. But let me tell you something. What I will tell you is this. It's not Ten Hag in or out. If Man United lose to Coventry... Are you gonna? Are you gonna do over? Are you ten hog out? Over. Just, just is that ten answer, hog out? Will oh, yes. you be ten hog out if, if, if you it, lose to Coventry? Yes, okay. absolutely. Great, we're fine. And I've, an I've, said, I've said that. I've said that on United View. <sighs> but overall, right now, are because you, we're not going to lose to Coventry. Are you not getting upset though with some of these post-match in, like, interviews? Where Actually, he, this he thing they said he stormed, they he said he stormed out. Like, sounds a bit like. I'm, I'm pleased with it. Yeah, but but here's the thing on that. So I I was very angry at that, and then I then I took a step back and I thought, but really. What is he? He lies in the presses. He does. He does. He, he does. Well, he I, does. Think, I think all managers he lies in, do that. That's what I'm saying. He's not going to go in a presser and say, "Oh, I can't believe they conceded so many shots. Why are they doing that? I told them not to." I, he's not going back into the dressing room. You played the game. He's not no, going back there and saying, "Guys." It's fine that you concede in that many shots. Don't worry about it. He ain't doing it. No, that. but he is calling out Garnacho. Yeah. And there's clearly a lot of unrest. Like Marcus Rashford, like what what is that situation? Well, he's playing shit. He's playing awful. He's had an awful season. So you'll get if you get a new manager. He's played 30, 30 goals and then the next so and he and he dug him out a bit as well in a yeah. press conference. He said, Well, the reason why we're not scoring as much. You know, I looked at Rashford, he had 30 goals last year, and now he's not doing it. He's basically saying, I banked on him mm -hmm. to fucking show a little bit of consistency. I got rid of Sancho for you. There you go, mm -hmm. and you're not doing it. Maybe, Ganacho, that, maybe that wasn't the right Ganacho, goal. There's no, in terms of unrest, Ganacho started 30 games in a row, by the way. The, the, the manager has done a really good job with Ganacho. And again, this is where the media, I will push back a little bit because this kid's been unbelievable. Because, so because, of, the, because of the fact, is this is not a fact, because of the fact that Anthony's been rubbish, Sancho did the thing with the manager and had to go, and Rashford's been rubbish. This kid, who's his first senior season, by the way, of being yeah. a starter, has had to play 30 games but in a row. And he's been one of our players this season. We're, we're not criticizing him. Right. Eric Ten Hag is, and Garnacho don't like that because he's liking tweets. Right, and that's, again. So I'm saying again, there's, there's clear, they're clearly not playing for the you manager, can't, you in can't my be opinion. Doing that. But he is playing for the manager. I don't think they are playing for the manager. Well, well, you can play for your individual self, not the manager. We've seen this happen. He's brought him in, he's the one to give him a platform. But we've seen this happen. A few times now with this manager mm. calling players out and losing them he didn't call him out he no, said no, no, he no, said no, the I'm... reason why he took him off yeah but what I'm, why well, the, the point we're trying to make is that which I it can't be a, it can't be a happy thing because you would you wouldn't get Garnacho going like in the tweets no because he's pissed off he cut he come off but so but that's it's not, not the right you can't say it's a but happy you can't off. okay cool but you can't say it's a happy place to be and i've got one more question i've got place, one more question for you because the, the the hot seat seems a bit hot for it's you getting right hot. Now. Mm. very hot right now flustered is casemiro yes finish he's done casa amor chilling in the <laughs> villa <laughs> what don't you just disrespect a man like that because you know what the thing is he's never had legs no and he's never and he's in the Madrid in the Madrid team. He didn't play with legs either. No, playing with elite players. This version, what it is, is this. And you know what? This is not a disrespect to Casemiro in terms of like his whole career and what he has been as a player. Mm. You just Casemiro like, more than more. Right, yeah, because right now that's what he's doing. He's chilling. Bro, I love like him, in our midfield in this version of Man United and this version of Casemiro, 
They don't go. It's as simple as that. Is it all his fault? No. The midfield is open as anything. Kobe Mainu's getting overrun. Bruno's getting overrun. He's getting overrun. That ain't just his fault. Even if he weren't playing, the way mm -hmm. that we play, which is shit, would still be that. Mm. But it's alarming how bad he's been. Like, not just that he can't move. That's, all right, that's one thing. But in terms of on the ball, like the, the lack of technical ability on the ball to be, as soon as we want to like string a couple passes together, he goes, nope, does that one, mm. call it the cast special over the top. You know that put into an area around the corner. Yeah. He just does that. So for me, if we're trying to rebuild our midfield, which obviously we are, it can't be with Casemiro. Who do you want? I want, Jao, I want, I want, I want Paulinho from Fulham. Cold. Yeah, yeah, and we Great need time. someone who can get about the pitch like him. That's or, someone that you could get, yeah. actually. Yeah, that's need, definitely need, someone. I know the Bayern thing out. happened. Yeah. I don't know sure. who does he go to, happen? Tottenham or United? Well, in all honesty, Chelsea could finish above United the way it's looking. Oh, Doesn't wow. matter. Which is peak setting. Doesn't matter. Not really bad. It's not not, really. not bad. The Chelsea. Everything. No. Really. Yeah. Wow. No. We could win the FA Cup this year. We're so, hang on, yeah. we're going to Wembley. Can I just say it quickly? We're going to Wembley. Yeah, you're going to Wembley. Yeah, okay. Are you in it? No, no, no. You got a chance to win anything. No, 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 not oh, this year. But you also, you also then, could finish with the same. That no trophies. Be, you might, you, you might not get top four after same. being in it. Maybe the whole not. Time. It's not trophy though. Bottle jobs again. So you could get. So you can't. You could get, get no trophy. I could <laughs> get no <laughs> trophy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I said before, I don't care about getting in top four. It's really not the end of the world to me. It's, it's not. Mentality. So you don't care about trophies. Don't care about. So don't you care about finishing as high as you can? Isn't it a problem if Chelsea finish higher than you? The worst season they've ever had. No, because we're what we're trying to do is, is build. Your manager stormed out of the press conference when they said that. Ripping up. He didn't. Press conference already finished. Now it's Messi. Are you going to be? Press conference. Are you going to be Coventry? Yes. What's the score going to be? Absolutely. Uh, two 0 And we'll do, be in the FA Cup final. Do you, do you think they're going to beat Coventry? I think they beat Coventry. I do. Might not look good. They're going to be. <laughs> it might not look good, but we will win. <laughs> but if we don't, no but, no, but hold on a minute. You should. It should. Absolutely. You should. I'm telling you now. Just be. Just be in Coventry. Ain't good enough. Of course, of course, it's not. I'm telling you now. If we lose. Ten you're seeing out. a different. I'm, it's, I'm telling you now. <laughs> what, what are you that's telling us? Like that, that's it. I told you, you. I said it already. Control or delete. You us? Rip it up. Control or delete. Hundred percent. What's it on the delete map? Shift, me. command, whatever. Mix over <laughs> flex. Gone. <laughs> Don't care. Gone. Because he'll be gone as well. Okay. If that happens. Right. He, he might be gone anyway. I look forward to seeing it, man. But I'm looking nice. Watch, I look forward <laughs> we'll to seeing it. We'll see. Um, get involved in the chat below um, and like the video. We'll see you on another episode of the Take On. And you lot might not see me if we leave the commentary. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>